Let me present to you a Wikipedia story that illustrates how Wikipedia manages to keep quality strong. This is a scene from the 2009 motion picture movie Star Trek. Now you might have missed it there, but young Spock was being quizzed on a variety of things, and one of the answers he gave, it is both non-excludable and non-rival. As I was watching this as an economist, I realised he was asked for the definition of a public good. It's quite thrilling to actually see that such a definition has lasted several centuries and traversed to another planet. But I thought to myself, this was a significant event to see such a otherwise obscure definition occur in a popular movie. So I went to Wikipedia and I looked at the entry on public goods. Here it is. Right at the bottom of that entry, you can see that it has a definition founded by Paul Samuelson, the very famous Nobel laureate economist, that a public good is something that has the properties of non-rivalry and non-excludability. Given what I had just seen in Star Trek, I decided to make an edit. Here's the edit I made. I added a sentence after the definition. You can see it in the green and red on the right. That this is something that young Spock learned in Star Trek 2009. Now I'll admit, this is a strictly scholarly on public good. But then again, how often does economics look even the slightest bit cool? So I included it. Here's what happened. Thanks to Wikipedia, we can actually look at the series of edits going all the way back in history here to the 9th of May 2009. I put in my change at 5.16 on that day and one and a half hours later at 6.50 a user called Willscrit reverted the edits. That means my edition was deleted. In other words, 90 minutes was how long it took for somebody to be monitoring the public good entry in Wikipedia and to revert it. This was quite surprising to me. Not only that, Willscrit left me a message. And here it is. Welcome and thank you for your attempt to lighten up Wikipedia. However, this is an encyclopedia and the articles are intended to be serious. So please don't make joke edits as you did to public good. Of course, uh, the irony of it being a edit to public good, I guess, was lost on him. Readers looking for accurate information will not find them amusing. Uh, I beg to differ, but that's okay. If you'd like to experiment with editing, try the sandbox where you can write almost anything you want. While your comment about Spock may have been accurate, I haven't seen the movie yet, it is not exactly encyclopedic in nature, and that example would need to be reliably sourced to a third party to be included. I got a chuckle out of it, but that's not our aim here. Sorry, but your other edits look good. Keep it up. You'll notice this is about 17 times as long as my actual edit, this uh, nice note to, my, to me. And also, in the, I could have uh, put my edit back in, but this pretty much signaled to me that Will Script was going to fight for this one, and I certainly didn't have the patience to do so. So I left it at that. You'll notice that he also looked at my other edits. I posted this edit anonymously, but my others had been signed in under a username, and the IP address uh, logged that. So he gave me a little bit of encouragement. Who is this guy, Will Script, by the way? He seems to be quite an active Wikipedian. He has made many, many edits. He uh, has a whole bio here, as you can see, and he has, in fact, won a whole lot of awards for all of that. You know, as of uh, 2009, he was up to 4,000 edits. Seems to have not been too active after that. I hope I didn't discourage him from the whole Wikipedia adventure. But he seemed for many years to do quite a good job. 
And so that's why Wikipedia uh, succeeds in keeping quality strong.